Hey there, it's Parker Zero Two Three One. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Emergency Vehicle Creator with AG chassis. So this video is going to be building on the instructions of this video. So if you already haven't watched this video, I recommend you go down in the description. There'll be a link to this video. Watch this video as this video builds on top of it. All right. Once you have watched that video, you're going to want to get into your studio with your car. And the first thing you want to do to set up your AG car is you want to pull out um, these demo cars by the Gate Studios group. There'll be a link in the description down below to get them. It comes with two cars on the AG chassis that can be used as a demo. And you want to open up the ELS one and just copy every copy this patterns folder. And then after you copy it, you can right click copy, right click paste in two. Now that that's in there, just you'll see this script. This is good. This is what we want. So we can delete these two cars. And now what we'll do is we're going to count up all the lights we have. And we're actually also going to change the names because as you can see right now, they're all just named blue and red. That's not what we want. We can leave the TA as seg 1 through 8 because um, the built in TA should do just fine. Otherwise, we want to grab all this stuff. And I'm going to drag it 10 studs up so that way I can name it all. I'm going to start with 1 right here. So we can. Uh, Once you have that done, just go through and make sure there's none of these extra parts because this one appears to come with these extra parts for whatever reason. So we're just going to make sure to delete those. And then we'll drag it back down into the light bar. Um, that's interesting. I'm guessing it was rotated or something by accident. I'll just drag it back in there using 0.05. Well, cool. So now we have our signal integrity, and we actually will take all these lights out of the model and just put it inside the ELS part. Cool. Like that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open up ELS Creator, which we can find by looking for the Edontech plugins, and you can open up the EVC menu. Now I'm aware it spams output now, um, I plan on fixing that, I did not mean to leave that in there, it was because I was debugging something yesterday and I accidentally left that in there. But we know we have 18 lights, so we want to do 1, 2, Okay, cool, cool. So, if you've already watched the previous video, you should know how to make ELS on this, so I'm just going to quickly throw together some stupid pattern, so just give me a couple minutes.
Alright, once you have a simple pattern created, I recommend saving it. Um, I'm going to save this as an AG demo. I always just save stuff just in case you lose it, so just save it. Export standard ELS. We want to go L1, L2, L3, L4. And you can use enter to jump these, so if I hit enter, you'll see it jumps to the next one. That's what I'm doing here. L7, L8, L9, L10, L11, L12, L13, L14. And then it will stop at the end of the column. Then you have to resume it. Then you can hit done. And it should export. Not sure why it erred. Looks like everything exported just fine. Just to double check our pattern, I'm going to quickly run this. Okay, yep, everything looks good there. So we're going to take the two controllers and we're going to put them inside this patterns folder. I'm going to go inside the controller one. We're going to add an extra dot parent right here because it's inside this patterns folder. Okay, and now we're going to come down here and basically we're just going to replace a few things. And you can have multiple patterns if you want and I'll show you how to do that as well in a second. We'll make this for pattern four or something. Right, because there's four patterns. Um, yeah, this automatically turns off all the lights. So we'll just leave that there. Um, so there's four patterns. So I want this pattern I just exported to be the fourth pattern. So what we're going to do is we're going to do... We're going to cut that. So what I did is I just caught, selected all this, and then I hit Control X on my keyboard to cut it. And we're going to do script.parent. Pattern number on get property change signal value tell and connect function. And basically all this is saying is when this pattern number changes between any of the numbers, we're going to run the code inside of here. So then we're going to do if script.parent.pattern number value equals equals four, then, and basically all we're saying is if the pattern is four, then let's run this code. And we're going to do repeat, paste that in there. And after you do that, at the bottom, you're going to say until script.parent.pattern does not equal 4. So what this will do is when the pattern goes to number 4, it runs this infinite, it runs this loop forever until this condition is met, which is the condition is if the pattern is no longer 4. So if the pattern goes to 0 or 1 or something like that, then it will no longer run this pattern. And basically, we're just going to copy and paste that into here. Going like this. Okay, and once you have done that, always save your game. So always save your game like that, and then we'll run play here. You have to enable ELS force first, excuse me. Um, so you need to go to A chassis tune and you need to scroll down and find ELS enabled and set that to true. You can change the wigwags to false if you don't want wigwags. We don't have rotating lights, so that's you can leave that as true. We can have our TA flash on. And uh that's it, that's it, okay. So, now we're gonna do play here. Okay, so we're going to add another thing here, and similar to this, it's gonna be or script.parent.elsrunning.value equals equals false. And this also, so the issue was is we forgot to add a dot value right there. So we need to have a dot value, otherwise that won't work. So we can copy and paste that to our other script. So now we can
can go ahead and test it. And now if we hit pattern 4, you can see all the lights flashing. There you go. That is how you make a custom pattern. Now there is a few things I want to mention. Is uh, <laughs> Number one, it doesn't change the uh, color uh, back to what it was originally, so you're going to have to do that manually. I can show you how to do that real fast. So what we need to do is we need to go into the controller and where it enables the light right here we need to do light bar light dot material yeah material spelled like that enum dot material dot neon or we can also just say neon which I'm going to do that because then we're not indexing the enums, which is just a tiny bit faster. Um, and then right here, when we turn it off, we don't want to set its transparency to 1. Instead, what we want to do is we want to take all this and do that. Let's do that. We're going to change its color 3 to do... Actually, we're going to add a color that says 0. We equal color 3. From RGB, and this will be the color of the lights when they're turned off. Don't forget to add the comma. And we're going to do colors zero. And we're going to do glass as our material since that's what this is. And now, if we save and run, so now that we're in game, we'll see once we get in the car that when we run the ELS, now it looks a lot better because it's actually sending back to its default and going into neon. And when we turn it off, yeah, when we turn it off, it gets stuck like that. I know a way to fix that, so we'll also do that real fast. We're also going to copy and paste what we just did here to our other script by just copying all of that using Control-C and Control-V. Is there control C and then we're going to paste it in using what the why is this happening? And then we're gonna hit control V. Um and now what we're gonna want to do is we're going to want to come down here and then after this until we can just add a zero 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 and we'll do the same thing over here. Copy that, paste it, set this all to zero, save play here. Now when we get in the car and turn on our ELS, you'll see that once we turn it off, it will all go back to default. And we still have our traffic advisor that we can have on that's built into AG chassis. No, that's interesting. There we go. <laughs> the lights are now back on. So there you go. And I'll quickly show you how to add another pattern into that. So um, we'll go back into our emergency vehicle creator. We're going to delete everything. And then instead what we're going to do is rate time is 0 0.1. And we're basically just going to go like this. Okay, so now that you have that done, you can go ahead and export again. Do the same exact thing we did earlier. Make sure you get everything correct. Then you can export. Also delete your old export. And then we're going to open up these two controllers and we're basically just going to copy everything that we did. So that was controller 15. So now we'll add an else if script.parent.pattern number dot value equals equals one, and then repeat until script.parent.patternNumber.value does not equal 1 or script.parent.elsrunning.value equals equals false and we'll copy and paste this and set that to off and we'll do the same thing for controller 1 so we'll do else if script.parent.patternNumber value equals equals one and then 
check my code in the test. Okay, cool. Repeat until script dot main dot panel number dot value does not equal one or script dot main dot yellow is running dot to me or sorry dot value equals equals false. We're going to copy and paste this. Set everything to zero. Save. Run. Running outside. It's fun. Once you're in game, you can get in your car. And since we set the pattern to one, you can see when we turn on pattern one that the lights do what we told them to do. So if we switch pattern two or three, since we don't have anything in there, nothing will happen. And then pattern four, we have our pattern four. So if you add a bloom or whatever, I always choose to do a higher threshold for a reason, and I always do a smaller size and a higher intensity. And then to prevent those jagged edged edges, I usually get my intensity just a tiny bit higher. And there you go. Or sorry, size. Now you have yourself your ELS created um, the lights on your AG chassis car. If you have any questions, comments, or you need help at all, feel free to join our Discord server down in the description. I can try to provide you with the best of help to my ability. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and can't wait to see you guys' creations. Showcase you the creations in our Discord server down below. Peace.